Walk to the one everyone today we're gonna to be checking out a video um, this is gonna be a guy who's on the rise and on YouTube um, he done a video well he done a few videos um, checking out some chicken places um, his name is the Pengus no the name of the video is the Pengus Munch and he's like the chicken connoisseur um, this is episode 7 he's not long uploaded it so yeah let's get into the video Secrets. If you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more worried about the reason. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this guy has like I think over a million subscribers now. Um, he did have like not too many, but now he has a lot. I think it's because a lot of big YouTubers have been um, making videos on him, so yeah. Um, let's start the video. Here we go. Man's here and that. What's I park and that? Lego. <laughs> Got two two side man about. Trying to take pictures and that. Man's not that guy. Right, this video seems like it's gonna be funny already, so I'm quite excited for this video now. Let's carry on. Yes, you are. Keep running. You're kind of fake, you know. It's kind of annoying still. Gonna help us, Sam's, you know. But above and beyond all things. Bow, crap check. Oh, that. Right, I like my sneakers myself, and they are really, really nice. I have not saw them before. I don't know where he got them from, but they are really, really nice Air Max. So, good on you there, bud. I'm more into my Jordans though, so they they aren't they aren't like the best. So, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you too many too much credit, but they are they do look really, really nice, even though they are purple. But yeah, carry on, mate. I swear they're like TNs. They look like TNs. No, not TNs, Rude Boy. Air Max Modular 98 SI. Lads, that's that's the name. Air Max Modular 98 SI. Go and get them. Go and grab them from the shop. They look amazing. Yeah, he just he just told everyone the, the name so they can go and pick them up, so I don't see why he would say the name because that means people are gonna go and buy them and then he won't be like basically the only one with them. If that makes sense. I like to wear out Jordans that hardly anyone has because it makes them feel more special. But yeah, let's let's continue this video. <laughs> Whoever edits his videos is a really good editor because that was some pretty good effects there. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, by the way, boys, I am mistaken. He does not have over a million subs. He has 260,000, as you can see. So yeah, sorry about that. But um, yeah, the next thing we're gonna have to get onto is this. This is, in fact, the description of his channel. Um, if you go onto his channel and then click on about, it says, The chicken connoisseur is a food critic for mandem who care to know what the finest chicken restaurants in London are and where to find them. He's a bit of a crep fiend too, as you can tell by his crep um, check during the video and as you can tell by his chicken... Um, his chicken videos, that's all he's done is chicken videos and then in every video he's had like a crep check. Apparently this guy's 20 by the way so yeah keep that in mind whilst you're watching this video. Obviously man's out here, North Finchley all of that came true, rolled true Sam's. Man got a fillet burger, I think they call it a blazer fillet, six wings and chips. Do you know what man did get? Man did get too much food, that is just way too much to eat in one sitting but Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Um, I do like the effects that he does, though. I would, I wish I knew how to do that because I do not know. I don't have a clue how to do stuff like that yet. From here, and total was four pound ninety. But the drink, <laughs> ninety p. I can eighty. I had to go link boss man for a little Rubicon because I'm not doing that to myself. Cheapskate. You already know I'm not Bob. Chips. Chips were. You know what, they were right, like their chips, I think they were slightly over fried, you know when they're over fried, like the skin gets a bit rigid. Rigid skin on chips, great, great, great use of words mate. You can tell that he's passionate about this um, chicken reviewing because he used words like that. Fair enough mate, let's carry on. So it doesn't, doesn't absorb stuff right, you, you sprinkle pepper, it bounce off, salt bounce off, because of that. I had to use the barbecue sauce, which I must say was banging. Consistency was on point. In your mouth, like, smooth. How the hell could someone be so passionate about chicken? 
And he's not even onto the chicken yet. He's on about bloody chips and barbecue sauce. So um, yeah, the salt, the salt and the pepper bounces off because it's so because the chips skin is so rigid. Yeah, fair enough, mate. Fair enough. When I say smooth, I mean smooth. Ooh. Sweet. Chips, give them a free. They're there. Wings, they're, they're kind of greasy. There's a fine difference between grease and succulents, but they were kind of greasy still. I could tell they weren't fresh, but they weren't cold either. So because of that, they, they weren't as peng as they could have been. Yo, chicken connoisseur, you're not really racking in the mandem here because I don't think any of the mandem are going to come in to this chicken shop if you're giving them rates like that. Not having it, mate. Not having it. For me, it just tasted like they had like a decent bit of cayenne pepper in there or maybe a bit of hot chili or something. But it was nice though. They were spicy. The spice was there. And I could tell because when the skin came off, I looked inside and I could see that it was in there. I'm pretty sure they marinated it before they actually breaded it. Cheeky chili. Cheeky chili chicken. Also, loving the cinematic views. Great job, man. And fried it, so they patterned their wings correctly. The wings were a bit small, out of shell. It was, it was quite flaky, but again, because it wasn't fresh, you didn't have that crunch yet that you're looking for, really, when you chomp on a wing and that. Based on that, they get a 34. Is that certain for? I don't really know what that kind of rate is, like 30. 34, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I thought it said 34 when I first watched it, but 34. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Drake! <laughs> Them carbs hit me, fam. Burger, I have to say, first and foremost, the thing that stood out was ratio. That is a really bad burger. Like, half half of it's not even in there. Half of, it, half of the burger is not even in the burger. That's stupid. Stupid. Fam, half the burger was out of the bun. And I don't mean that like they slid it off and the assembly was dead. Yo, fam, I just said that, mate. Fam, the burger was wham, wham. No, oh, basically they butterflied the fillet first. It was wham, like those wham bars that you get in the UK now. Yeah, they used to be 10p, now they're 20p, but it's wham, mate. Wham. Just so they can save, essentially, instead of giving you like a wham fillet. It had a little bit of heat, a little bit. Just, it was noticeable, but I won't say it was prominent. But if you're a heaty kind of guy, don't go here, it's not prominent enough. The sauce did not exist here, so that was peak. The sauce didn't exist in the burger because you just scraped it off with the chips like two minutes ago. If you just go back a little bit in the video, you'll see him scraping off the, the sauce in the burger with some chips. That's stupid. That is a bad review. I'm not having this, mate. Not having it. Very peak. So I had to have mayo on the burger, dead. Yeah, weighing, weighing everything into account. Out of five, I say like a 3.8. Really and truly, a 3.8, yeah. That's a decent race rating for that burger, I understand. I feel your I feel your rating and I feel like I need to go there now. Thank you. Overall, so strong. Oh, Sam's gets a cheeky 4.3 rating. Nice. I'll be going there sometime. Just so I can be a part of the man then. You get me. 4.3. These man did well. Alright, um, so obviously before man says roll safe, safe. Because obviously his thing's on a different level now. It's kind of hot. Right, so right there he's on about the increase of views and likes and everything that he got because he got the he got shared on on Facebook by some popular people. He's got reviewed on um, YouTube by some popular people, so that's probably why he's got that many views. But he does make some really good videos. But uh, yeah, let's carry on with the last bit. It's a bit bait. Bait, it's bait. I swear I hate being bait. Shout out to the supporters. Shout out to the to the OGs, the man that I've known from day one. That's me, mate. I've been there since day one. I'm the OG as Pimpass Biatch. Yeah, I'm, I've been there since since day one. Yeah, I'm the man. Them, I'm the OG. Holler at me. It's all mad. Man needs to cut because these are different ends, and man don't know what goes on down here. Certain times, so safe in it. <laughs> Okay, I admit that was a pretty funny ending. <laughs> um, yeah, in London, I'm guessing that there's different ends and there's different people around different ends, so you might get like stabbed or shot in like a certain part of there. So yeah, I get it. Um, yeah, he did put bloopers at the end of his video, so I'm gonna show them like just after this part. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed the video. Leave a like. 
if you did enjoy um, subscribe for more videos just like this one um, yeah see you all in the next video peace what is this what is this oh my days no way this is not actually happening how are you drinking the juice like that every drop everything Chinese <laughs> <laughs> She's lighty pose. Obviously. <laughs> Alright, come on, man. Alright, uh, yeah.